Welcome back to David's Theme Park Adventures. Well, we are at Pleasurewood Hills today. So we are here right next to the Wipeout where we're gonna go on it. So this is my first time on it. And I've heard this is rough. So I am expecting it to be rough, but I won't worry too much. So I'll just go have a ride on it and I'll see you when I come off. Looking forward to it? What do you think then, David? Good, but I had to <laughs> It's a bit cold though, isn't it? <laughs> so we've just been on Wipeout and my thoughts on it. If you don't like I'm going backwards, it's not for you. If you don't like I've been if you don't like intenseness, it's not for you. And apart from that, it's a good ride. So yeah. Yeah, we might try to get a front row for you, either now or later, but we will come back on it again. So... So first 1.3 coast loads? Yeah. Yeah? How many times did it get upside down? Six. It's like it goes upside down three times, but because it goes backwards, it goes upside down six times. Yeah, awesome. I have good math. But we're well, either going to head to another ride or try to get a front row POV. So, yeah, either one of those, we'll see you wherever we go. So, we're here at Cannonball where it looks like they're doing some repairing work on the queue line fencing right here. And another thing, there's this massive bit of wood here. I think it's probably just to prevent people from going in the construction site right there. Well, it's putting all the wood up. And so the ride's still here, it's just, it's just doing some work on fencing. So, yeah, now we're just going to head on over to Wipeout, shall we? Wipeout after we've just done the front row. I can tell you, 
For some reason, it's a lot more intense of a front row than it is a back row. And you're like, well, why is that you're asking? Well, because if you're at the front row when you're going the back rows, you're, you're at you're basically at the back row while you're going backwards. So oh, it gives you a lot more cheese. And since the rest of the train is like on, on another bit, like, look, you see that cover over there? So look, we'll be about on the uh, uh, half that is on the left. And, the, and, and the rest of the train would just be going up the right one up there. And you'll just stop. We'll just stop on the left one. So what happens if, if your train goes down and literally goes weak? So, yeah, don't go on the front row. Unless you're an absolute thrill seeker who wants your face off. So, yeah, it was still good, but yeah, I'm gonna have some lunch now. Because we've done our two sick rides on Wipeout, so, yeah. I'm just gonna go have some lunch and then we'll see you after that. So we are just about to go on Express right here. And yeah, so, so this is a good ride. And yeah, we have a little board that tells you the queue time. It does. It had you seen to the chicken race on the front. And yeah, what do we make this coast out of 10? I forgot. Um, oh yeah, 8 out of 10. So um, yeah, we'll see you when we come off. An express car. Now, yeah, good family coaster. On the other side of Wipeout, or the very end of the park, kind of near the car park. But if you, if you do want to know anything about this ride, it is kind of like Green Screen or Adventure Island. Sorry, I just got to check you guys. Thank you. Yeah. If you've ever been on there. So, we are going to give you a quick pull of this as well, kind of like wipe out, so just, just try to stick along and watch all you think. And me and the chickens will give you our, our, our opinions on it after you fly.
I'm coming. <laughs> Look at that view though guys, look at it, way up here, it's definitely good, but, you know, oh, yeah, there it goes, it's our turn. Oh yeah, kite flyer is what it's called. I just turned back and saw all the name. So yeah, my dad's gonna get some off-ride footage of, of me since you're in the cage and I'm laying down so that won't work. But I hope you enjoy are watching me fly. Trail. Um, What's that ride? Is it David? It's a shooting dart ride. So we will give you our opinions when we come off. So we have just 
off route in the tune and oh my god it was amazing if you ever do come here to play some wood here hills i come down where the mini train is and see the carousel go down to the mini village and see the sign right here what do you like about it david Fiend. nice theming yeah yeah it's good fun with the guns as well isn't it yeah Awesome. Where are we off to next, then? Um, we are off. We're off to Minion. Ah, oh, yes. Awesome. The old Minions. Dun, 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 dun. It's only the second of April, and we're going on a log float. Who thought that? But last time we went on this, we got drenched. And. And my dad's camera broke, but now he's got a new better camera which will help his camera survive. So let's see how we do on this one, guys. No, notice, Davis. There's no one on the log flume. Why could that be? It's only eight. Seven degrees today, isn't it? It's quite sunny. Hey. hey. Thank you. Yeah. Marble Madison, David? Yay! Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Enjoying it? So 
seven, class eight. Because the louder you are, the faster they may go. Where are you going, Trevor? I'll get you in a minute. Right, everybody ready? Steady, go! our final steps out of Pleasantwood Hills. It's been a lot of rides and we've come off a swing ride right now. And I enjoyed my three rides from Wipeout, that was my favourite ride today. Second favourite ride was Marble. Third was Root in Tooting ride. But it is a shame that we have to leave Pleasantwood Hills at five. But there is a one thing I'm gonna say. Okay. Always have a Toby Carberry after a good day of theme park, like we are having right now. So you have been watching David's theme park adventures, and we'll see you in the next video for more coaster action.